Hey guys, welcome back to The Untidy Artist. Today I'll be showing you how to make a satin singed wild rose with a double ruffle. The first thing you'll need is some fabric. I'll be using a poly satin blend fabric for this tutorial. You can make this flower with different types of fabric, just make sure that it's a poly blend so that it will melt when it's singed. You'll need a copy of the pattern, which you can find and download below, scissors and some pins, a clip and some felt to attach the flower to, needle and thread and a ruler, some matches and a candle, and of course my trusty glue gun. Okay, the first step is to measure out our satin. Now this fabric is 60 inches wide and for this tutorial I'm actually going to use the entire length which makes about a five and a half or six inch flower. For a slightly smaller flower measure to about 50 inches and this will give you about a four and a half inch flower. Fold your fabric in half lengthwise and then in half again and then grab your ruler and you'll mark at the five inch mark all along the fabric. So we'll be cutting along that five inch mark. In the end, your piece of fabric will be 60 inches long by five inches wide. And I leave it pinned. I like to pin the satin so it doesn't move around. Grab your pattern. You can see mine's well used here. And line it up. And I start by lining mine up along the fold and just cut out your pattern. And then when you get, if your pattern's not long enough and you get to the end there, I cut down on the outer edge of the scallop and then I just pick up the pattern, shift it down, kind of flip it over, and then you can finish cutting out the rest of your pattern. And this just gives us a scalloped edge at the top. If it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. We'll be melting the top of it, and so those little straight parts at the top won't matter at all. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. And then flip your pattern over and do the exact same thing to the other side. Now we are going to singe our fabric. So light your candle. And this is the part where you need to be careful not to burn yourself. This did take a little practice, and I will warn you that this step takes quite a while. I turn on my favorite music and just kind of relax while I do this. It is well worth it. This flower is absolutely gorgeous, and the handmade aspect of it is really apparent. So just singe all of the edges of the satin, and you'll do that on both sides. So when you're done, you'll have this beautiful long piece of fabric that's scalloped and singed on both sides. Now we're going to fold it widthwise with the shiny side facing the outside and you'll go ahead and pin it maybe every five or six inches and then grab your needle and thread. You want to make sure that the thread is long enough to sew the entire bottom of the fabric. So I measure mine to 60 inches and then fold it in half and put a knot at the end. Now measure up about a quarter inch from the folded edge and you'll take a running stitch along the entire bottom edge of your fabric. So we're just taking the needle in and out and in and out and this creates a gather in the bottom of our fabric. This will give our flower some shape and some dimension. If you have a sewing machine and you'd rather run a gathering stitch at the bottom of the fabric to make this step a little bit faster, go ahead. So once you've gathered the entire length of the fabric, you're going to lay it down and we're going to take the first 12 inches of the fabric and smooth the gather out so that the first six inches are hardly gathered at all and then it gradually becomes more and more gathered. In the end, my strip measured about 25 inches. Now take the end that is hardly gathered and you're going to put a little dab of glue and you're going to start to roll the fabric. This is creating the center of our rose. So a little glue at a time. And I take the glue right along the bottom gathered edge and just gently fold it. I like to work from the bottom and then I will flip my rose over and look at the top to make sure that it's forming the shape that I want it to. And you'll just continue to do this, remembering that those first six inches were hardly gathered at all and then it became more and more gathered until you get to the very end, it should be really gathered. And by doing this, it gives your rose some really pretty shape. 
um, once you have it all glued together, this is what it looks like. So then grab your ruler, figure out how big of a circle you need to cut for the bottom. And I cut a square out that size and then cut the square into a circle. Line it with a whole bunch of glue and put the felt down just to secure the bottom of your flower. And now we're going to take a strip of felt. This measures about an inch and a half by about one half inch. And then I glue my clip on once that's secure. I take my little strip of felt, open up my clip, and glue that down and hold it down nice and tight. And then just trim off any of the excess felt. And ta-da, you have a gorgeous double ruffle wild rose hair flower. This is obviously the kind of hair flower you would use for a special occasion and to definitely make a statement. I love how elegant these flowers turned out. I also think they make a beautiful brooch or accessory to put on a bag. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any comments or questions, please post them below. I would love to hear from you. Please check out some of my other tutorials and if you haven't already subscribed, please do so you'll be the first to see new videos when they come out.